All right, YouTube, welcome to this video. And in this one, I'm gonna be talking all about a wealth strategy that I've been implementing for some time that has really started to pay dividends, uh, no pun intended, um, in my wealth building journey. And this is all about index funds. Um, for those who don't know, I have kind of three main core wealth building strategies, which are uh, property investment, HMOs. We have uh, index funds, which I'm going to discuss in this video, uh, individual stock investing, and I suppose you could count business too. And in this video, I'm going to share with you why I love index funds so much compared to the rest of my uh, wealth building strategies. So it probably makes sense to first mention what an actual index fund is. Unlike individual stock investing, where you're investing in one company, uh, in an index fund, you're essentially buying into a basket of companies. So the way I like to explain this is uh, the basket would represent your portfolio. And in that um, in that basket, essentially, are eggs. And those eggs would represent your the companies in that portfolio, okay? So you're not just investing in one company, you're investing in potentially hundreds and thousands of companies depending on what index fund you're investing in. Now, with the index fund, it will track the market too, so it's a passive strategy, which we'll go into uh, later on, um, but it's a great way of actually uh, not researching you know, day after day into individual stocks, and it's almost like a hands-off uh, wealth building strategy, which is one of the reasons why I actually love it. So that's what an index fund is. So one of the first reasons why I love index funds so much is because of something called company diversification. So let's say I were to go and invest in an individual company such as Tesla, and um, I were to put £10,000 into Tesla, right? Well, if Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, who I'm a big fan of, by the way, were to smoke a joint or a spliff, whatever you want to call it, on the Joe Rogan podcast again, myself as an investor of Tesla could be impacted negatively due to the behavior of Tesla. And of course, there's other implications such as uh, management problems, there could be financial trouble, but essentially I've got my money in Tesla and I'm at the whim of how Tesla performs, okay? So I've got all my risk associated with that company. But by investing in index funds, I'm not just investing in one company. So that 10,000 pound in this example would be spread across different companies in that index fund. So I'm diversified more. So if Tesla in this example were to uh, you know, underperform due to Elon or something else, well, it wouldn't really matter as much because other companies in that index fund are really you know, picking up and going in the right direction. So the first big reason why I love index funds is company diversification. One of the next key reasons why I love index fund investing so much is something called sector or industry uh, diversification, okay? So what this essentially means is that by investing in index funds, I'm not just investing in one particular uh, sector or industry because I'm buying across different sectors or in, and industries due to the whole range of companies that I'm investing in. So the way I like to explain this is in 2000, um, we had the dot-com crash, which was the rise and fall of the technology uh, sector or industry. And uh, that was because of the internet craze at the time. Well, if that were to happen in today's day and age, as an index fund investor, I wouldn't be impacted as much because my money is diversified across different sectors and industries such as utilities, materials, um, uh, financial, and even tech. And there's lots more too. So again, I'm not going to be um, negatively impacted as much, just like company diversification, because I am diversified across the different sectors and industries. Now, the next key reason why I love index fund investing so much is because it is a passive investment strategy. What this means is that I'm not uh, trading my time to invest and build wealth over the long term. And some people, what they'll do is look to get a financial manager, which is an actively managed fund, to help them try and beat the market and perform better in the market. Now, there's a few things wrong with this, which are number one, uh, that manager will be paid a fee, 
regardless of whether that individual's portfolio is performing or underperforming, okay? And those fees over the years erode away at the total portfolio value by quite a bit. And not only that, but these people may not realize that most investment professionals do not beat the market. And in fact, those individual, sorry, those index fund investors who contribute to their index funds every single month and build wealth that way, they actually beat most investment professionals. So that is a key big reason why I love index fund investing too. So hopefully you understand why I love this investment strategy. There's company diversification, there's sector diversification, and it is passive. And in fact, it is my favorite uh, investment strategy amongst property and individual stock investing. And a lot of people are kind of really risk averse when it comes to investing and they feel like they're gonna lose a lot of money. However, but I believe that the majority of risk comes to not knowing what you're doing when it comes to investing. And in fact, the biggest risk of all, in my personal opinion, is not investing, right? Not building generational wealth so you don't have to work until you die. And if you're wondering how to invest and you really want to kind of work this out for you and your family, uh, but you just don't know where to start, then click on the link below. It'll take you to a web page where you can start learning more about index funds in depth and you'll hear from many, many case studies of uh, investing to success clients who have gained phenomenal results as a part of that community. So hopefully this video makes sense. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers. Bye.